All right, so this is called thread the needle. It's a good transition out of a single short hook um, to get to a cement mixer. Probably get a pin from here. So same position we were moments ago. He pushes on my knee and tries to hop over. I stop him and I trap him here and he decides to now try to roll back to his belly. Oh, to your belly right now, coach. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to my knees, pull my arm out and just be right here. Coach, roll your belly as hard as you can, please. And bring your arm with you, bring your arm with you. All right, so he's trapped here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start circling around to him in front of his head. And here's where I gotta put the thread through the eye of the needle. There's a little space here, close it's tight, you can't, don't let me in there. I'm gonna kind of wiggle it through until it comes through. Now I'll pull this arm out. And here we are ready to get to our cement mixer. A way I can help myself is if I lift my knees off the mat, I can start pulling his head sideways with my leg. I'll sink deep, tuck his head tight, and now boom, I'm in a nice cement mixer position, ready to look for my pin. One more time. We're getting to a single short hook. Probably getting it because he pushed on my knee and I pull it. He wants to go to his belly, fine. I'll sit up with him. I'll jump to my knees and pull my hand out. He's gonna be fighting. I'm gonna circle around, punch it through, pull the other arm out, use my knees a little bit, and then sink back into my cement mixer position. Usually try and look for a seatbelt, but sometimes I'll come through an underhook. It won't be as tight, but I'll still get back once. Um, when you practice this, have your partner rolling over onto his belly at first. You can do this when the guy rolls to his knees, but it's a lot harder to learn there, and I would first master it when he's flat before attempting it on your knees. Good.